you may have seen if you watch my Twitter, I went and posted a mission pack today based upon 2001 A Space Odyssey. I've been working with Shadow Zone, who built this amazing model of the Discovery, and we will look at that. But we start out with the... We've seen this a couple of weeks ago. We did the Orion shuttle from uh, Earth to low Earth orbit, and then we did the Ares from uh, low Earth orbit to the Moon. And now we have the uh, the moon bus, which I did finish building, and you're going to see it. it's going to be cool and all that. So yes, we have Werner von Kerman who's saying, we need to head south to the Tycho region. There's something very important there, because we have a guy called Haywood Kerman on board. Uh, we should also have some other people. We should have Jebediah and Bill uh, as the pilots. There we go. Uh, I'm marking the site. Haywood wants to get there quickly. Of course he does, because he has secrets to keep about aliens. So I can... You can fly like that if you like. Or you can fly like in the movie. Uh, you can point it like this way and then reaction control thrusters and use forward thrust to accelerate in the direction. Either way is completely acceptable and has the Delta V to look to do either of these. So yeah, we're, we're not flying this suborbital like we would many missions. We're flying it rather like a, the space bus in the movie. So it's kind of cool. You can just watch it do this. Watch it fly along the surface and hover along there. Uh, you know, it's, it's actually losing altitude. I'm going to need to gain a bit more altitude because there's a mountain range in between. Haywood wants to use the onboard scanners to check some readings. Can you turn it on and using action group 5? Yes, I can and set it to auto-refresh. So yeah, we're going to start scanning for things. Hopefully we'll find something. One of the things I like about this is it, it flies nicely really close to the surface. Obviously I couldn't find a cockpit which matched the correct look, so uh, I had to fake it. You know what, I think I need to get a little more altitude here to get over this. Am I going to hit anything here? I don't think so. Don't think so. I'm really cutting it close here. Oh! Oh yes, brilliant. There, like a boss. Like a boss, I tell you. But I think there is a higher mountain here that I need to get over. You have to realize that all those great scenes of the spacecraft flying around in uh, 2001, they were all kind of just like people doing their jobs, right? There was the bus driver, there was the shuttle driver, there was the space moon bus driver thing. Here we go, and getting over this shot, this one as well. Now we're in a getting close. The anomaly site is inside the dark valley ahead. There's a landing platform in there we need to touch down on. Haywood doesn't want to walk far. So all these missions require you to pretty much get very exact uh, landing requirements. Remember to target the landing beacon for extra precision and use action groups 3 and 4. Okay, and so we also have like the ability to change coordinate systems for landing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pitch up and stop like that. Because otherwise it's going to take forever for me to stop with just those dinky little engines. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's us. Now let's see where we're going. So I'm going to switch coordinate systems to this. So I'm sinking at about 8 meters per second. We've got 100 seconds to go, so I'm going to now try to adjust my tracking so I actually start heading towards the target. Nice! Excellent! So now, Jebediah Kerman says, or sorry, it's, it's like, hey, this is as close as we're going to get. You need to get out and walk the rest of the way to the excavation site. He so here we have Haywood Kerman here. Actually, what I should do, I think, is one, no, two. Yeah, there, we better put out the ladders, right? Yeah, right, there's a free anaconda in Hutton Orbital, right. <laughs> Yeah, you guys should do that sometime. Okay, so this is Haywood Kerman. If you end up, oh, uh, apparently the 
monolith is having some very interesting effects on people's uh, ability to walk. Hey, come on over here, Kirk Haywood, and get a load of this! It's like nothing we've ever seen before. Well, other than that one near the Space Center, but that's just a fe cheap fiberglass art piece. I don't think the artist has ever visited the moon. Artists don't have that kind of money. <laughs> this has been buried for at least five million years, back when our ancestors were flying frogs. I don't think the flying capabilities of frogs could have taken them to the moon. So who put this here? So we get dialogue and everything. I totally saw that they are making a behem- I've been following the Bohemian Rhapsody thing. We've tried every test we know- Oh, okay. Oh, well, I guess I'm jumping up here. Nothing can see inside it, and it appears inert and unreactive. Just like your mom. Uh, wait, no. Yes, it's Ravi, uh, oh, is it Malik? What's his name? <laughs> Rami Malik is playing Freddie Mercury. So look, we've got Bob is here hanging out and taking a look at the stuff. Oh, who radio is that? What the heck? No crazy noises. What's going on? It's like it's transmitting a signal out into space. The anomaly has woken up. It's transmitting a powerful signal to Jewel. This is fantastic news! Well, for me it is. The sound of your suit radio is probably turning your brains into jelly right now. But I'm sure you'll appreciate the importance of this moment when you wake up from the coma. Success! I haven't got the scoring figured out. I know we totally need the 2001 soundtrack. Uh, play missions. Let's go and try the next mission. Chapter 4. Mission to Jewel. And this has been created by Shadow Zone. Not me. Let's see how this looks. Uh, oh, Silent Searchlight. You know, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I hope that your bad news is not too bad news. And I hope that your things are your residents or whatever. Thank you for volunteering for this incredibly important mission to the magnificent Jewel system. You need to get your ship, the Discovery Zone 1, into a stable circular orbit around... That's a terrible accent, isn't it? With apoaps and periaps of 27 million meters. Good luck! Kerbin is counting on you! Okay, so I'm going to pop this out because I want to make sure that we have some issues apparently... It's interesting, it has some oxidizer, but not very much. So yeah, this is the this is the discovery, huh? Pretty sweet, huh? So I need to first of all plot a departure vector for Jewel, which is there. Big TJ asking if anyone remembers Star Cops. That was a an incredible Incredibly low budget TV series. I remember seeing props on the spaceship. So it was a control joystick, and I realized it was exactly the same joystick that I had for my 8 bit microcomputer. But they had repainted it. You want a, G a culture GSV, right? A ship from the culture in Kerbal Space Program. And I'm not going to lie, so would I, but yeah, probably not happening. Okay, now does uh do these things have gimbals? No, they don't, do they? Well, in that case I'm gonna start firing. And it's gonna aim prograde. That's where we're going. So it says seventeen minutes to make this burn, so we'll see how close I get. This could take some time. You don't think KSP has enough gravitas for culture ships? Yes, I believe that Kerbal Space Program has exactly the right amount of sh gravitas shortfall to be <laughs> to be a big part of the the culture universe. Yeah, there we go. Is something leaking in the center engine? Not that I know of. The 
Most of it is fuel tanks, indeed. What a beautiful shot of the sunset behind Corbin. Ah, uh, there's the sun! There, we gotta get this shot. Look at it go! Heading off on its interplanetary trajectory. Our journey towards Jewel is, is on. Oh, there, we got it! Okay. So now let's zoom in. Focus view. So we're watching the orbits come in close. And I'm just going to cut the thrust about now. Because we got to do some trajectory corrections at some point. But that's, that's pretty good. We're on our, on our way there. Look, there we go. We're coming in. We're coming in full throttle. And... Uh-oh. An important experiment unit close to the communications array has become defective. Dave, get into the center EVA pod and repair the Science Junior Materials Bay. Hint, use Action Group 5 to decouple your pod. Okay, uh, so I guess I'm going to have to do some some stuff. Okay, so... Did they say Frank or Dave? <laughs> uh, oh, there's the pod. We've got the pod open here. We've opened the podway doors, and do we have someone in here? Oh, there we go. We're coming out. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Sweet. Sweetness. Okay, I'm just going to turn these lights out temporarily. I should turn these back on. Okay, so now, what have I got to do? i got to do a U-turn, right? So let's do that U-turn this way. That's pretty cool, huh? How is the I the IVA is oh currently I cannot activate an IVA camera. The mission doesn't let me apparently. This it actually looks like the real one from the movie, so that seems pretty cool. Uh, 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 uh. There, we've targeted Discovery 1. At least we've now got relative velocity vectors to help us. This is pretty cool. I'm going to totally say this. So there is the transmission transmitter system, right? I wonder, what do I do? Do I just stop next to them and go for a spacewalk? Okay, I guess I'm going to go EVA. As soon as Dave has completed the repairs, check the experiment works by performing it. Okay. So what am I going to repair? The the experiment bay? I think that's what, it, that's what he's meaning. Uh, repair disabled experimental bay. Now we've got to perform the experiment. Observe the materials bay. Yay! Keep the experiment. Never mind. I got it. I I I think I think I've successfully succeeded. I'm just checking. Do I need to have anything else? Discovery part. Okay. Yeah. I think everything's fine. I just need to go back. Okay, now time to head back. This is the first part where they're testing the thing and they still haven't reached dual orbit. Will he redock with the claw pointing out? Of course I will! Remember to hold your breath. No, you don't hold your breath. You hyperventilate. If you hold your breath, you will be in for a bad day as your lungs explode. 
sneaking in there. This is the hard part. <laughs> Gently does it. Easy does it is uh Oh, there we go. Just yes. Claw facing out and everything. Okay, I'm bouncing around like a crazy thing. There we go. Lights on now. Oh, I wonder what that is. I wonder what whose control that is. Is that Hal? That's probably where Al lives. So yeah, we've got three pods in here. See that? Oh, that's like the door to the rest of the ship. That's kind of cool. Man, like Shadow Zone really did a lot of detail on this. Aha! You have performed your task perfectly. Now have some rest. The mission is far from over. Okay, so I guess that was that part of the mission. Now I need to get into orbit. At least I thought we had to get back in that orbit. Okay, well, I'm going to add a maneuver and get into orbit anyway because... Oh, success! Success! Yay! Didn't have to do that whole thing. Well, only a little bit buggy. So, actually, that is consistent with Hal. 